welcome to another channel. It's Aubrey. Hi. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to Lima Bean Living, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. On this day, I just was trying to be a little bit productive in the morning because in the afternoon, we were actually going to be having our house blessed. So I was just trying to get it all done, and that was mainly doing stuff in the kitchen. So to start, I put some of these cookies in our cookie jar that Juan insisted we register for when we were getting, uh, or when we were engaged and ready to be married. And this cookie jar has actually gotten some good use, so... I'm kind of happy that we ended up registering for it, even though I wasn't really anticipating putting cookies in it at all. So next up, uh, I'm just going to be making and bagging ice. So we don't have any like big parties in the future planned, but I'm then just kind of doing this little by little, pouring ice into cupcake pans and freezing it and then storing it in a big bag so that we can throw this in like an igloo whenever we have a party and we don't have to like run to the store and get some more ice. And it says don't consume because we got Zout a while ago and it came in this nice big bag and I was like, oh, this is a great bag to store ice. It's so big. And then I poured ice in and I was like, wait a second, Zout was in here. I probably shouldn't be consuming any ice that I put in a bag that had a bunch of chemicals. So this is like for igloos only, and I just, you know, I don't wanna get anyone sick. So that is what our big ice cubes are for. And then in a separate like gallon size bag, I've been storing ice that we can put out for people to use like actually in their drinks. So I didn't make that mistake twice. Then, like I said, we were having our house blessed this afternoon, and I thought I should just kind of have some type of little dessert treat. And instead of making like a, a total cake from scratch like I would like to, I decided to use this box cake that I have been meaning to make with Aubrey, and it was just gonna be a really easy thing for me to whip up. So I went ahead and just made this little, you know, box cake, but I tried to do something new and I used a different pan to bake it in and I'll describe kind of how that went later on. So like I said, I tried using a new pan. This is something I've had for a while and I just never really used it. It's kind of like a spring form pan without actually having a spring in it. Uh, so this bottom piece comes out and I was worried about it leaking through like the little you know, crevices because there are two separate pieces and it did leak out a little bit. There were some little burnt chunks at the bottom of our oven after it was done baking, but Overall, it did bake very nicely, so I'm not gonna totally rule out using this pan in the future. And then I let Aubrey choose like a little food coloring to color our white vanilla frosting. And one technique that I've seen people do is they actually whip the frosting instead of just like spreading it on right away. To be honest, I didn't notice too much of a difference, but whipping it will kind of incorporate a little bit of air in the frosting and make it a little bit fluffier than just using it from the can. Channel is Aubrey. Hi. 
I love you. And here comes no mommy in the channel first. Mm -hmm. So we are already in this wiggle box for Easter. And if you want a sprinkle, like this with a sprinkle here, then we get by. And here comes mommy. <laughs> So moving on, we are going to be organizing this drawer. I've been meaning to organize it, and I'd like to thank Exxon for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us these little acrylic baggy container holder things. They did come with little stickers so that they can kind of have a little bit more of a cushion when they're sitting on your counter or in your drawers. And they come pre-labeled. Um, however, if you don't have a bag that is the specific, you know, matches the specific labeling, you can always cover it up with like your own label um, or, you know, some other type of sticker or decoration. And the cool thing about these is that they actually have something where you can hang it like on the wall. So if you want to hang it in your pantry and free up some drawer space, that is a possibility. Now, some of these guys, I actually didn't have the specific or corresponding bags. So I didn't have like a quart size bag with a zipper and I didn't have any snack bags on hand, which is kind of weird. I probably should run to the store and get some. But uh, the lid slides out really nicely. The bags then fit in and then you can slide it back. There's a nice big opening. And I actually love some of these other weird um, kind of like bowl or plate topper bags from the Dollar Tree. They come in three sizes in a box. They have small, medium, and large. And uh, I decided to throw these in one of the little acrylic boxes. I transferred them because I had more, so I transferred them to the quart size bag. And in our snack box, I put um, some like plastic gloves when I work with chicken or things like that. So that way it was nice and organized. But if I ever get a snack bag, uh, they will be going in this awesome acrylic box. So again, I'd like to thank Exxon for sponsoring this portion of today's video and making my drawer look so much better. We run in the still every time, whatever it is. After I was done organizing our drawer, the cake was pretty much baked and cooled. So I transferred it to my little cake stand, which I was so excited to finally actually use it for cake. Sometimes I use it for muffins or put our cookies in there. So I was just happy to have it on the cake stand and you know, have it out for our house blessing. Anyways, we decorated. The frosting was like so much more than I really thought. I needed, but it ended up being like a good amount of frosting to the cake, you know, it, it, it balanced out well, but I did have some extra and I set it aside for my dad because he likes cake with his frosting. <laughs> Anyone else like that? Let me know down below in the comments. But then I went ahead and let Aubrey decorate with these little Easter sprinkles. Just, I thought it'd be fun for her to decorate and we had her cousin over as well. So she jumped in and the girls had some fun decorating the cake. But anyways, that is our little get it all done video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and just I hope it motivated you to just get something done in your own home or maybe start bagging ice for future parties so that you don't have to run to the store. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.